Small and micro enterprises breathe life to Kenya's economy with a contribution of 3% of the country's GDP. Credit Bank has taken up the responsibility to help SMEs achieve their growth. Miles away from Kenya's capital, you'll find Credit Bank on the ground supporting SMEs. This is Merul Dairy Cooperative Union. The Meru Dairy Union is an organization, a cooperative of farmers who produce milk and sell. We realize Credit Bank and as a niche, or they are able to bring out their products in a more organized way, suiting the dairy farm. So since the last year, we have been able to, been able to do much. The, the factory just adjacent to us is a new factory, an extension of uh, the old factory. And uh, we are putting in two new lines, which have been supported by Credit Bank at about uh, 240 million Kenya shillings. And these lines are already in Kenya. We import from uh, uh, Finland and from Tetra Pak, the machines are ready. And soon, we want to put them in production and start new products. You'll start uh, soon seeing that uh, the dairy will start giving up out outputs, different uh, products of uh, milk, be yogurt in different flavors. You'll also start uh, seeing uh, cheese now coming from the giant uh, Meru dairy. You'll also start now seeing uh, Meru dairy start doing what you call even uh, maybe probably the powder milk in our markets. For supporting SMEs in agriculture that is part of the Big Four agenda under food security and nutrition, Credit Bank is also turning out to be the ideal bank for the SMEs in manufacturing. We have about uh, 40 uh, four different products uh, under two brands. One is a hair care line under the name of Mikala. And the second one is under is a skincare brand under the name of uh, Nuvera. We have found in Credit Bank a more accommodating uh, partner, financial partner. Uh, and you need it because you know, you're buying raw materials. You, as you can see, we are holding a lot of stocks. You have to send the goods to the market. You send the goods on, on credit. You won't get paid even for 90 days. But you need to make sure that you keep supplying the market as you collect. So where you need a financial partner is basically in bridging the gap, the cash flow gap between the sales you made, the collections, and the need to have raw materials so that you can continue operating. So a lot of financial institutions don't understand that. Uh, and for a business that starts from a, a very low capitalization level, then the only way to fill the gap, the funding gaps, is if you get a good financial partner. And that's what we found in Credit Bank. The manufacturing center is associated with creating value. Okay? And where we are as Kenya, 80% of what we handle, what we consume, it's imported. So now as Credit Bank, we have actually made it a deliberate effort, okay? Besides supporting manufacturing as one of the pillars of the big four. We want now to now bring it out in a way that we make it easy. Healthcare is a vital component of human life. Credit Bank knows this all too well. Through technical and financial support, the bank is improving healthcare access by giving hospitals such as Shalom Community Hospital opportunity to scale, improve on quality and efficiency. We were planning and we are in the process of constructing our St. Jairus Hospital in Kisumu and uh, we had approached Credit Bank and uh, we found them to be very friendly and calm. What surprised me is even the CEO of the bank came to see me. Credit Bank has made a deliberate decision to partner with Medical Credit Fund. Medical Credit Fund comes in to give us the technical support and we come in to do the financial aspects. So we address all the elements that relate to the financing of various hospital units. The essence of the health sector really is to try to ensure that what we call level two hospitals are pushed up. 
fact, with the support that we got from Credit Bank, we have actually expanded that project. And by the time that project will be complete, it will be more than one billion shillings of a project. Credit Bank does not end there. Cognizant of the fact that we cannot reverse the technology clock, the bank is keen on supporting SMEs in the tech world. This is Skytop Technologies, with core business is the development of software solutions for the building and construction industry, manufacturing industry and the education sector. We established that uh, professionals in the construction, engineering, and those even those who want to be to become or to pursue those kind of careers do not know how to use these design technologies. Others called computer aided design technologies. And one of them is AutoCAD. The problem uh, that we found in the use of AutoCAD is that people do not know how to use it. And DemosCAD was born. So DemosCAD is actually AutoCAD that shows you how to use AutoCAD. It has taken years and years. Over 200 million has been invested here already. And uh, none of the big boys was willing to help us move forward. One, because they say technology is not tangible. We even promised them, we even showed them that we are going to bring billions back. We are exporting technology and bringing them dollars because our products have been paying dollars. None of them was ready to listen to us until we approached Credit Bank. They listened to us, we send our challenges to them, and incidentally, uh, it's like the OIT for us. We have a very good uh, structure that, uh, driven via the eHub that actually brings all these uh, entrepreneurs into circles and they're able to meet there and communicate and network. We critique uh, their business models for them. Uh, we also look at their margins and advise them on what they need to do. We also advise them on the emerging risks so that even as they're moving to the various sectors, they are well aware about the inherent risks that could uh, come into play and be able to mitigate them uh, properly. Being small and medium in size presents numerous challenges for any business, but Credit Bank believes in possibilities. When Empower Installation Contractors Limited came calling, it was empowered, literally. Uh, we have grown from zero in 2007. We have a turnover now of around 200 million. Because of the capital investment involved, we partnered for this particular project with the Credit Bank. That was in the year 2015. Uh, this project is worth about 350 million. So we had to get a performance board, which is normally 10% of that. SME is a very significant sector in this economy. So it is a very critical sector to serve and the bank got it right in terms of uh, the segment uh, markets. So those are our clients. SME uh, clients would, you'd, you'd say is what ordinarily would be called, called uh, the, the missing middle between the retail segment and the corporates. Credit Bank's deliberate effort to empower SMEs has not gone unnoticed. We have been supporting entrepreneurs throughout. These are for startups and also established businesses that are SMEs that employ Kenyans. There's few challenges that we have seen and that we are trying to address before we even give financing to these entrepreneurs is um, the general business, day-to-day -day business running of the company, from their cash flows, their turnovers, their human resource, their marketing, uh, product um, development, taking the products to market. We start from the bottom with this person or with this company and grow them into a whole full-fledged business that will be there today and even tomorrow. Credit Bank is indeed a sure bet for SMEs, a friend they can bank on in season and out of season.